Hello! Today I want to show you one of the projects I was working on in the last few days. And what it is about is um, the object integration into movie files um, while using the Cycles render engine. So, what you can see here is one of the frames of this video. And you can see um, there is now a way to create uh, um, and something like an only shader material. It's not really a material that um, does that effect that you can only see the shader, but it has the same effect. So um, it all happens actually here within node setup. Um, I had to make sure that here in the layer tab uh, I had um, act, um, checked on these um, shadow and bind occlusion and object in index passes and what I also had to do before setting up the nodes was to put all the objects I, I want uh, to be shown here um, to um, check uh, to type in one here as the pass index so I could get uh, a mask out of out of this. So and what this up here is about is um, just how I combined those two images. And as you can see, what I did with this video file here was just scaling it down a bit. So I um, just had half of the resolution, so it wouldn't take me so long. And here I did just some color corrections. As you can see here, it's um really um it looks just wrong with the colors and everything and down here i also adjusted the colors and mixed it together with with um the video file and the mask i used to to combine these images uh was the one i got from the um id mask so the result after this node looks like that here. So there are no uh, shadows yet and non-bind occlusion and nothing else. But um, down here I multiplied um, the, the image I got from here with a almost black color and used a mask which was um, which I got by um, multiplying the shadow and then by the occlusion pass they look like this so this here in the background is the shadow pass which is a uh, new um, um, you can use the shadow pass only since the blended 2.63 version so that's a big update I was really happy when I saw that it's possible uh, that's also the reason why it wasn't really possible in the previous version. I mean, there were a few ways, uh, but they were really complicated and everything. So, yeah, that's one of the important things of this. And then by the occlusion pass looks like this here. And I multiplied those two um, passes, and this is the result I got. So just a combined version of uh, these two <coughs> passes here and then I use the ID mask which lo looks like this where only the objects are let's say um, shown um, and added this image to the, the shadow one. So this is the new image I got and as you can see there is nothing else than the shadow and now I could use that after inverting the colors easily to, um, as, a <coughs> as a mask here and the result looks as you can see here like this. You can also as you can see here I uh, rendered not many samples of the whole thing so the quality is not as good as it could be and I'll show you very quick the result of the whole thing 
So it looks like this here. Okay, this is the final version of it with motion in it. So I think it, it looks much more realistic than uh, the Blender internal render I had. <coughs> and yeah, I think that's it for this video. And also, if you want to know what projects I'm working on at the moment, uh, make sure to check out my um, Google Plus account. I always um, post some screenshots or updates about my projects there, so it might be interesting for you. And thank you for watching. See you next time.